Okay, one of the misfortunes of having a key, and I know some people complain about this. Uh, for example, I, I deal with a, um, the Prison Mathematics Project, and one of the guy he's in prison, he's in there for a long time, by the way, he complained to me that, um, it wasn't really a complaint, by the way, but he mentioned to me it's hard not to look at the answers. And it's true, it's hard not to. So what I want to do is I want to go to the whiteboard, and as I do that, um, I'm, I'm certainly going to do problem number eight. So let me see if I can do that. And I'm going to write down... You know, if I were doing the problem, I certainly have the answer covered up. I, I don't want to look at it. But what I see over here, <clears throat> I'll write this down for you. This is number eight. I'm seeing that they have something written down. And I'm, I'm always curious, can I do the sum? It's four times nine. I'm not going to multiply it, by the way. You may wonder why that is. I think if they wrote it this way, they do not want me to multiply that out. Uh, they're doing me a favor by putting this down, by the way. I mean, if they did multiply it out, I'd have a really tough time with the problem. And they write quite a few terms down, didn't they? So I want to make sure what I'm writing down is what they say. Now here's the deal. that they When they put the dot, dot, dot here, they're telling me that this is a very simple pattern. Well, let me see if I copied it right. 4, 9, 14, 19, uh, 24, 19. Yeah, I think I did okay. And there's certainly a pattern to it, but I always say I want to conquer one pattern at a time. So I'm going to look at the 4, the 9, the 14, and the 19. And what I want to do is I recognize looking at that that they're going up by 5. Like 4 to 9 is 5 up, 9 to 14 is 5 up, and then, um, you know, um, 14 to 19 is 5 up. So I'm going to call this my first term, A1. I'm going to call this my second term, A2. Call this my third term, A3. And call that A4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I'm going to do is I want to kind of write down what I think I'm seeing, by the way. And what I think I'm seeing is, I'll write this as AN, by the way. One's on top, by the way. And I'm going to say, you know, look at the bottom. I'm going to say it's something to do with a multiple of 5. But I want to start at 1. So I, I can't really say 5. It's 5n. But uh, i got to take 1 away. Let me see if that produces it, by the way. So what would 1 give me? It would give me 4. What would 2 give me? 9. What would 3 give me? 14. What would uh, 4 give me? Let's see, 20. Yeah, 19. Works pretty good. But there's another factor there, right? So let's break this one down. And let me get my highlighter out again. And I'm looking at this guy over here. And by the way, they're remarkably similar. They really are. All right? I know it's something about 5 again. So I'm going to go over here and say 5n. Now, if I'm starting at 1, what would you get? Um, let's say you get 5, but you have to increase it by 4. If I did 2, I'd get 10 plus 4 is 14. Well, it seems to be working. Let me go to 3. That would be 15 and 4 is 19. And then if it went to 4, it would be 20, yeah, 24. Looks like it's pretty good over here. So I'm going to say my sum, the sum they want me to compute, would be n starts at 1 off to infinity of this nightmare here. And this kind of reminds me of other problems we've done. And so I'm going to use partial fractions. I'm going to write this down for you. I'm going to write 1 over 5n. And this is 5n plus 4. Don't worry, we have a key to look at later, but I'm not looking at it now. I'm going to say A over 5n minus 1 plus B over 5n plus 4. I'm going to clear the fraction by multiplying both sides by 1, um, by the LCD. I would get 1, then I'd get A, 5n plus 4, and then I'd get B, and I'm going to say 5n minus 1. And I'm going to just pick some arbitrary numbers that are easy for me to compute with. I'm going to pick n to be 0 because it's a really easy number, by the way. And what do you get? You get 1 equals, well, that would be 4a, if, if n, n is 0, by the way. And you get minus, uh, let's see what you get, if 0. So 4a, I'd get minus b, right? And let's pick another easy number for me to compute with. I'll pick 1. Um, let's see what you get there. You still get 1 on the left-hand side. And if I picked 1, what would I get? Let's see. I would get uh, 5 plus 4 is 9a. See, that's pretty nice, right? And then what are you going to get? You're going to get plus, well, let's see what you get over there. You'd get, uh, let's see, 5 minus 1 is 4, so 4b. These are two equations, two unknowns. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4. And you get 4. That would be 16a. Let's see, minus 4b. The bottom equation, I'm not touching it. That's going to be 1 equals 9a and plus 4b. And the point of that was to get something to disappear. 
And what happens over there? You get five, and nine and 16 is 25A, and the Bs disappear. So I know A is one-fifth now. Let me get my eraser out, and I'm gonna erase this, and I'll say it's one-fifth. All right, now, so as I can get the B, and to get the B, I'm just gonna select this equation here, and I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna plug in, A is one-fifth. So you get one equals four-fifths, that goes four times one-fifth is four-fifths, minus B, that's a B, by the way. And then I'm gonna take four-fifths from both sides, that's gonna be one-fifth, equals B, minus B, I'm sorry, and B would be minus one-fifth. Well, let me write that down now, get my eraser out, and I'm gonna erase this over here, and I'll put a minus sign there, and a one-fifth here. I'm gonna further uh, factor out something on this one, because it just doesn't look right to me. I'm gonna factor out one-fifth, and what would you left off? One over five N minus one, minus one over, 5n plus 4. All right, and I'm going to write down sn now. And sn is going to be, let's go back to the sum, make sure I'm saying this right. Yep, n equals 1. That's little n, by the way, up to big N. And what's the, uh, oh boy, that, it's this thing over here. Well, this thing is the same thing as this one over here. Let me write that down, 1 fifth. Uh, I gotta make sure I'm copying that right. One over five little n minus one minus one over five little n plus four. All right, I gotta do the sum now. So let's see if we can do that. And again, we'll look at the key later. Right now, I don't wanna look at the key. It's kind of disturbing to look at a key until I feel like I get stuck or I need to get help. And this is one fifth. And let's start. Let's start at one. You get one, let's see, five minus one is four, minus one, that would be nine, right? All right, let's keep going. And let's put this one, yeah, maybe I should concentrate one thing at a time. So one, let's see, if I did two, that would be nine, right? Minus one over, what, two, so that's 10, 14, isn't it? And if I put the next one down, I'm at, let's see, one, two, three, that's 14, minus, and I'm at three, that's 15, 19, all right? So I'm gonna say yada, yada, yada. Uh, these are all plus, by the way. Uh, let's go to the end. One over, let's remind ourselves. Oh, it's five N. It's gonna be big N now. Minus one, minus one over, that's five N, big N, plus four. So make sure I got that round. Yeah, I did. So I want to write the term before it, and I certainly have a one on top each time. And what do you do? You got to go back five, right? So it's going to be five n minus. I'm going back five. When I say five from the bottom, that's going to be minus six. And I'm going back five from this. It's five n. That would be well four minus five is minus one. And I'm hoping you realize that you have something here that that looks like it's 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 pretty simple, by the way. And what I mean by that is I'm seeing some cancellations like right away. Uh, these cancel here, these cancel. I hope you realize there's something there to cancel. And working my way backwards, I see these things canceling too. Then the question is, what's left over? Well, let's write that down. That's one fifth. Whoops, sorry about that. And what's left inside that, uh, the, the bracket? is one quarter minus, let's see what else is there. Boy, this is really nice, isn't it? It really kind of cancels off beautifully. And this is what's known as Sn. What do I want to do? I want S infinity. And let's write that down for you. And that's going to be the limit as the big N goes towards infinity of Sn. And what does that give me? Well, it's pretty simple. It's just one fifth times one quarter. And again, let me remind you what this is. This is the sum of n equals one off to infinity of, um, what did I get over there? Oh, I, I should put the one fifth in front of that, sorry. And that was one over this, minus one over that. I think it was five n minus one, five n plus four. 
And what do I get over there? I got the sum, which is one over 20, all right? Make sure I'm copying it right. Uh, 5n minus one and 5n plus four. Yep, we got it, all right? Look at the key. All right, let's look at the key and let's see what they got. I'm gonna buzz through that. I do see they put a lot of work down there. And yeah, we got it, one over 20. We're doing all right, thank you.